Once again, he's not gaining a yard at the end of the day. Third and 11 is going to come out with that Wildcat one more time. As I don't think he gained a yard that entire game. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you guys, another defensive gameplay video. This is from a defense that I put out not too long ago uh, that I told you guys if you want to see a, a full commentary, a full gameplay video of it. Um, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. So that's what this video is going to be. But before I get into the video, I just want to show you guys my Mutt team, show you guys some upgrades that I made, as well as the abilities and the ability points that I'm using on my defense. So if you guys want to mirror this, you can do that. Now, I would say the most important things to have on a defense like this is under pressure. Pressure. You're going to see that come up a lot. I have it on both my outside linebackers, but you could also put it on your inside linebacker uh, because he gets a lot of pressure as well, depending on which setup you use. I also have Acrobat Mid Zone KO and uh, Zone Hawk on all my safeties and corners. That's pretty much the setup as far as the secondary goes because I will be using my safety quite a bit. Then, as always, I got locked down at 50 out of 50, way over 50. It's 58. I got Kansas City 25, Washington 25. I'm thinking about doing Raiders 25. I'm at 11 right now. I just don't know which one to get rid of Washington or Kansas City let me know in the comment section which one you think I should do and then other than that I also have a sprinter maxed out so you know those are pretty obvious before I get into the video though if you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine make sure to check out my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com links in the description below use discount code money shot to get five percent off getting right into the gameplay looks like our first victim is going to be a Cowboys fans we got the Cowboys Stadium all three cards Cowboys they are the Dallas Cowboys America's team. <laughs> So this is the play right here. This is the play I'm going to be using 90% of this gameplay video. That's the Will Fire 3 seam. I will have a link in the description for the original video where I put this out. I put this out in a practice mode a couple days back. Uh, so I'll have a link in the description for that as well as all the offensive plays that I'm using. So if you see anything in this gameplay you want to try to do yourself, links in the description below if you want more information on that. Now how I use this defense can vary, but the setup doesn't really change. All I'm really going to do is blitz all linebackers. And if there's only one receiver, like there's only one receiver, on this play i'm going to use this middle safety i don't really think that there's much concern from that one receiver to beat me and he has his own right in front of him but there's definitely several different players that you can use her on a play like this it's a very good defense against run plays no nope. there are a few weaknesses like if people really you know can get outside of it but for the most part you can see we're pretty much just shutting this guy down to start the game as he only gets three yards on the first two carries if your opponent goes three wide it's probably best to use her the other safety in the seam flat but you could also use her this middle linebacker i find does doesn't get a ton of pressure where these outside linebackers do. So on this next play, I use her the safety. And then you can see under pressure plays a big part in the next play. Nope. As the pressure gets there so quick, he can't even complete a screen pass. Then he's going to have to punt the ball away. I get a really good return. I flip the field immediately with the speed of Tyreek Hill uh, as he just doesn't have anybody fast enough. And we get inside the 50. As we're starting off with great field position on the offensive side, my main scheme right now is the gun split close. This is one of my favorite offenses. There's so many great plays here. Links in the description below for this for sure. I'm also using the Tempe Buccaneers playbook if you guys uh, were wondering. So first play i really just run that just to find out what my opponent's running it's just a fullback inside it looks like he's using a mike blitz three most people are using cover three uh then on the next play i mean i'm basically just going to start going through my cover three one play touchdowns which this formation is loaded with uh this next play i probably could have went to the b route but for whatever reason i just didn't trust it the safety was a little bit close but i, th I think i could have had a touchdown there on the next play i'm going to go with the paf slide uh when it comes to cover three he looks like he's hard flatting a lot taking away this underneath stuff but that's fine because i'm going up top anyway break yourself fool you got both. As we just go over the top of the safety and the cornerback there. Uh, once we get inside the five, though, we have a little bit of trouble. What? The guy just looks like he tripped and he made the tackle. Then on the next play, I mean, I go with what's my favorite red zone play. I'm going with the cross drag out of the pistol bunch TE. This play is, without a doubt, one of the best uh, red zone plays in the game, in my opinion, for passing. But my opponent here makes a hell of a read. And a hell of a user lurker. And he's coming the other way with that. So he's stuck at the two, uh, which is fine because I'm going to be setting the house against him anyway. Luckily, on this next play, we hard flat because he tries to hit this guy underneath. 
And sure enough, I mean, I thought, I don't know how that was a safety. It looked like it was a safety to me. Next play, running, trying to run some uh, Wildcat. Once again, it looks like he's getting stuck inside the goal line, but he's not gaining a yard at the end of the day. Third and 11, he's going to come out with that Wildcat one more time. I don't know if he's had a lot of success with this, but he's lucky he didn't get a safety, and he's going to have to punt it away uh, with his back against the goal line. Like I said, this is a terrific run D for the most part. I don't have to really make a ton of adjustments. Uh, we're going to get the ball back, and we're going to get another great punt return, and we're starting off in field goal range right out the gate. So, I mean, we obviously we don't want a field goal. We're going right back to that PAF slide play. This play here, I feel like I could have scored earlier. Thank yourself, fool! Only this time, we time it a little bit better as we almost ran out of bounds. I mean, we were lucky to get our feet in, but we get an easy touchdown. So we go up 7-0 on the defensive side. Now my opponent's coming out in something that doesn't really favor this defense. He's coming out in five wide sets. I would not recommend running this defense against five wide sets. I'm going to run it anyway. You always have that option with this defense to just basically run it as a coverage defense. Nope. It's like I am here. I even put my outside linebacker here on a hard flat. You can see, you know, it's still going to give you pretty good coverage. If you have good enough linebackers, you're not going to struggle on the coverage aspect down the next play gotcha, bitch. we come up with an interception if sam mills didn't get that interception i would have got it he actually robbed me of a pick and we're starting off a field goal range once again but my opponent he's had enough see ya as I don't think he gained a yard that entire game if I, you know, for the most part. He might have gained a couple. But ultimately, we're moving on to our next opponent. Is it just me or is everybody have Randall Cunningham right now? I mean, he's got to be one of the most used quarterbacks. Right back to that same offense. You know, that fullback inside just to find out what defense he's in once again. As I'm getting blasted. Uh, uh, but then it turns out my opponent, he's basically one of these guys that just runs max out, you know, man blitz the entire game. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it up to one of my formations I've also put out a series of plays from the Trips Halfback Week. This is an amazing formation for people that like to run all out blitzes like this so we're just gonna go we're gonna hit him with uh there's a couple different plays in formation but the best one's a close bucks fate this is another gameplay that i put out link in the description below it shows you guys how some of these plays are just outstanding man beaters on the next play though for whatever reason Bruh. I throw it up, and he just doesn't come down with it. I don't know what happened there, but that should have been a touchdown. He got behind him. On the next play, I mean, he gets me all the way to a fourth and ten. I go with the curl switch. This play here has got multiple man-beating routes, so I'm thinking that one of them will get open. But the second I come to the line, I can tell he's not in the man coverage anymore. So I think it looks like a cover, too, based off of the safety. So I basically come out in a cover two setup, uh, totally guessing at this point. And sure enough, it is a cover two, as this A route just gets open right up the middle. <laughs> And we're scoring a one play touchdown that we probably shouldn't have gotten. We probably should have called a timeout and just put the ball away, but I'll take it. So we're up a touchdown. On the defensive side, we're going to start this series with a different play. This is a play I put out probably a month or so ago, and it's still one of the better blitzes in the game to me. The 4-3, even 6-1, cover four quarters. Now, this play here, I think that this play got used so much by the Madden community that people see it coming a mile away. I mean, the setup has got so much motion, so much shifting, so much adjusting, that I think the second you do all this, your opponent probably knows this play. They probably know the blitz is coming and a lot of people have really just taken to hitting the flats immediately uh, against this particular defense that's why i like this new defense so much number one it's a lot less used uh and number two there's no real setup at all there's no real tells so when i pick this will fire three seam and i basically just blitz all there's no movement there's no adjustment there's no tells of what i'm doing there's nothing giving the play away and pre-snap my opponent can't tell whether it's an all-out blitz or just a straight zone not to mention if you don't have identifier you don't even know where i'm at on the play I I mean, based on the fact that he's got the exact same formation, I'm expecting the exact same play. So I switch over to the closest defender, lurk right underneath it, gotcha, bitch. and we're going the other way. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. For the easiest touchdown you're ever going to get. This defense has no tells. This defense is a lot harder to read for people on the offensive side. He's going to head for the exit, though. We got another quitter. See ya. So moving on to game number three, I'm rocking the pistol playbook. I think this is without a doubt the best running playbook in the game. One of the formations I'm going to use the most is going to be the pistol weak, though. These two plays here, the triple option and the zone weak, are going to be two of the more explosive and more consistent plays in this entire running playbook. I mean, I probably shouldn't have had my fullback in this spot. No, nope. I probably would have had a touchdown because he doesn't have a lot of shake and bake. Then on the next play, we hit him with that halfback zone weak. I mean, it's a real simple read. I put out a full breakdown of this in practice mode. Now you can see, I mean, we're just ripping off huge run after run after run. He gets me to a third and 11, though, and I'm going to go right back to that cross drag play. I don't only use this in red zone i also use it in situations where i need a play and this is you know this is that situation so third and 11 he finally starts shutting down my run uh, i need a big play so i'm gonna go right back to this exact same setup it's just a really hard to stop play and uh, he forgets to cover this x route I'm open, I'm open. 
He's wide open underneath for an easy catch and run. Darius Hayward Bay going in for the score. So we go up 7-0 as we take the first drive all the way down the field. Almost kill the entire first quarter. On the defensive side, we're going right back to that play once again. A lot of people are coming out in heavy base packages like this where they're trying to just pound the ball and run outside. Nope. We're all over that. So we, I know the weakness of this defense. One of the weaknesses of this defense is it's extremely susceptible to outside runs. So I have to pay extra special attention to that. On the next play, I actually was out of position because I was trying to jump that outside run once again. Because it's a cover three, it can be weak to outside runs. So you have to make sure that you're using the safety in that direction. On this next play, he takes it inside. But for the most part, that's pretty much one of the only weaknesses. This next play here, you can see I shift completely to that side because I don't want to give up anything. Uh, and I guess he didn't have a counter in his audibles. I mean, he could have easily went the other way and probably had success. As you can see on this next next play I'm even going as far as the hard flat to make sure that there's nothing that really gets open outside and he just takes a right up the middle and just gets clobbered so like I said this defense is one of the better run defenses in the game but it does have a weakness it does have a weakness to the outside on the next play a week ago under pressure doing his thing he came and complete a simple pass then on fourth and six i accidentally come out against a five wide set like i said this is not the way to go so then when i try to guess pass Oop. he hikes the ball sending my guy flying as i would have covered that seam route as he gets the first down then on the next play i mean we're sending that pressure one more time all three guys came in. We had three guys smacking the quarterback. They all got passed. Then on second and 15, he hits me with that run one more time. I get blown up off the block. Yeah. And uh, he's taking this to the house. So, like I said, you have to pay more attention to outside runs. As I thought he would pass on second and 15. It is what it is. So, we're all tie ball game. And we're going right back to that ground and pound. Like I said, if you use this playbook, it's all about the run plays. There's so many great run plays. This one right here is just a straight halfback slam. And if I'd have went inside there, I might have been able to take that to the house. Then we're just going to hit him with a pass play. This has got to be my favorite cover three one play touchdowns i see he's rocking a lot of cover threes we're gonna go with the pa power option pass you need a really fast tight end to do this but it's just such a dirty play most people don't see this play coming uh and you know all i have to do is motion out this running back streak this tight end uh and for whatever reason this tight end just gets going super fast he was shocked at how fast that tight end got at the seam uh, and he's gone so we're going back up a touchdown on the defensive side we start mixing in some uh some four three even six one again he tries to run it outside as you can see i pull this guy in but i make an amazing play going through four different blockers get over here to get in on that and I tell you man that lavar anton card is a beast then on the next play i mean we set it up for the uh the empty backfield look and the pressure just gets in instant we could go as we get another incompletion, we're getting the ball right back. I'm going to hit him with uh, another run play going right back to that pistol week. As he is just way over committed, we just get through that first level. There's nothing behind it. So we get a touchdown to go up 21 to 7. And then with 22 seconds left, I mean, we're going right back to that defensive play. We want to send some pressure. I don't want to give him too much opportunity to get down the field. The blitz does get through. Woo! And then sure enough, he throws it up. Gotcha, bitch. We're coming away with an interception. That will end the ball game as he's going to quit. Uh, and that's it. That's all she wrote. So if you guys want to see more defensive gameplays like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching that much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.